Chip Chick here. I know I promised reviews today, but uh, they're done and ready to go. Um, but I wanted to put this video up today instead just because I didn't want to plop a build discussion video like right in the middle of the Ultraman Jeed reviews. So uh, those will go up tomorrow. But, uh, so yeah, I was hoping to get this done either Saturday or Sunday, but uh, the toy catalog leaks took their sweet time with everything. Uh, so uh, I had to uh, do this right now. I actually have to leave in about a half hour to go to Pokemon tonight. Um, but yeah, so we have our full catalog listings. Um, I will try to put links in the description to certain uh, like pictures of them and stuff for those that haven't seen, but... Uh, to get all the information, I had to, like, poke around Special Form 12's Twitter and Deno Token Nation's Twitter and, like, Token Nation itself, and, uh, there, there isn't, like, a singular place that has all the pictures yet, um, build, uh, build Rider News on Tumblr, uh, as well. Uh, so, hopefully, Build Rider News will be able to compile all of the good, somewhat clear pictures of, uh, the, the toy catalog together. Because uh, it would be really helpful to me uh, to have them all in one place. But uh, as of right now, I will also link to my tweet uh, that has all this information in it as well. Um, I wrote it all out in a note uh, that has all of the toys in the catalog. Their prices from what I can see. It's probably not 100% accurate because, well, toy catalog scans are blurry sometimes. So, um, And their pre-order dates and the month they come out and all that. So... Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so basically, build looks really cool. I was 100% ready to just jump off the boat, go, I'm done with Ryder, see ya, and just leave. But um, I don't think that's going to 100% happen uh, this year for for a, a couple of different reasons. Um, Toku is in a really weird place right now, um, both for me as a person and just in general. But for right now, let's just go ahead and talk about the toys uh, before we actually talk about what I'm doing myself. Uh, so, we have the gimmick this year is Full Bottles, and I think that's a terrible, terrible name. I really wish they had done something different. I don't mind the concept of a bottle as a gimmick, uh, given what the synopsis of the show supposedly is, like their souls stored in bottles or something. I don't know if that's even accurate anymore. But, uh, yeah, so there, there's that going on. Uh, like I said, I wish they came up with a better name than Full Bottle, but there might be a pun in there we don't know about. But Anyway, so it's basically double uh, 2.0. There's two different bottles, one of which is an organic thing and then one of which is an inorganic thing. You put both into the build driver. It has a little crank. I guess you crank and it's supposed to like to mix the liquid or whatever. It doesn't. Though they do look like they're filled with liquid, so that's kind of cool. Um, and so it does a whole bunch of whatever and lights up and all that fun stuff. Don't know what the voice is yet. That's going to be one of my deals. Uh, if the voice sounds really cool and the tunes sound really cool, then I might have to bite. But um, as it stands right now, we don't really know that. So all the forms are comprised of one organic and one inorganic, which is pretty cool. Um, overall, we have, I think, nine different sets or ten different sets. Uh, right now we have uh, Rabbit and Tank, which is the default uh, combo, which I think is a really fun default combo. Um, let's see if I br bring into the Rider Hero series. Uh, the Gorilla and Diamond, which makes Gorilla Mondo. Uh, which is a fun form name. Uh, Taka, which is Hawk and Gatling. Um, Nin Nin, which is Ninja. And Comic, which I think is really cool. That's right up my alley for sure. Uh, Night Rogue is one of the villains. And Blood Stark is one of the villains. They look really cool. Those are really cool designs. Uh, my personal favorite form, Rocket Panda. Uh, I love pandas, if you know me at all. I love pandas. Some of my favorite animals, and I love space, so Rocket's really cool as well, I dig that. Um, Fire and Hedgehog, they use the Japanese word for Hedgehog, which uh, I believe is like Hitsure Zumi, or uh, something like that, some word that's really long. I mean, it's as long as Hedgehog, I guess. Uh, Harine Zumi, I was close. Uh, so it uses Harine Zumi instead of Hedgehog, but Hedgehog's just a lot easier to say. 
Uh, so we have that form uh, as well and lion cleaner um, I don't know the exact where they're using the form is called lion cleaner but uh, the cleaner is like a vacuum cleaner it's actually like there's a vacuum cleaner on his head it's kind of fun uh, we also have a uh, full bottle sets for uh, exade and double which is really cool because this time around instead of just doing flat out legend rider bottles like, oh, here's the double bottle, and you can combine it with the drive bottle, and oh, look, it's cops and detectives. Uh, instead, they actually have keeping the organic and inorganic theme with these, because the double uh, sound is, if providing there's even sounds in there, is made from the detective bottle and the USB memory bottle. And for X8, it's doctor and game. Uh, so I love that. Um, I put out a tweet that I can hopefully get a picture of right here or here, wherever, that uh, I has like my guesses. Uh, for O's I wrote hobo, but a uh, wanderer is actually a lot better term, so thanks to my friend uh, Joey for, for throwing that out there because that's a much better uh, term than hobo. Uh, but yeah, so that's those are my ideas for future uh, rider ones. I kind of want to do a post for uh, Cougar Through Decade at some point too, but uh, really cool. I really like the way that they are handling those uh, this time around. So pretty neat. Um, we also have Key and Dragon. Dragon being the full bottle that the second rider, uh, Claws or Close. Um, we haven't actually got confirmation on that yet. It's not how you would normally spell Claws, but... That's one of the romanizations we've seen, so I don't know. I'm going to call him Claws for now, just because I think it's a lot better name than Close. But, uh, so he uses the Dragon Full Bottle and the Dragon Claws, or Claws Dragon, rather. And it's a little gadget that plugs into that spot in the build driver. Uh, so that is really cool as well. I like dragons. Uh, so Key Dragon is a form. Uh, Kaizoku Resha, which is like Pirate Train uh, form. And Octopus Light is a form. And then his uh, first upgrade is Rabbit Tank Sparkling. Uh, sparkling being like a sparkling soda. So uh, it's really cool. It's actually like legitimately like a, a soda can. And you like pop the top and stuff. It's pretty fun. It reminds me of Candroids, except it's a transformation gimmick instead. So uh, those are all of our forms right out the bat. So we have uh, 12 forms, I think, all together, including Sparkling. So, uh, lots going on. <laughs> lots going on, uh, for sure. But the one benefit of this line so far is that there's not a whole lot of, at least as of right now, Candy Toy or Gashapon exclusive things. It looks like it's going to be fairly self-contained. And the toys that come with full bottles are actually relatively cool. Um... The villains have a Cobra and Bat full bottle that uh, come with the Trans Steam Gun, which is their transformation device, and the Steam Blade, which is their main weapon, which can combine into a really cool weapon. Uh, so that's kind of something that caught my eye anyway. Uh, the Cleaner full bottle comes with the full bottle holder, which is actually just a remold of the Shift Car holder. So fun fact there. Uh, uh, the Hedgehog full bottle uh, comes with the DX Drill Crusher, which is uh, Build's default weapon that he'll use in like Rabbit Tank and, and stuff like that, I believe, uh, which also admittedly looks kind of neat. Um, the other forms have their own individual weapons. They don't come with bottles, though, and they're obviously a much smaller uh, weapons, much like uh, Gaim's toy line did. And those I don't have a huge interest in in the first place. Uh, so I wouldn't really pick those up. But uh, the build phone, which is obviously going to be his method of communication. Plus it transforms into the bike for the action figure series. Uh, which I guess will probably happen in the show too. Which will like hit a button and like throw it and it'll grow. Maybe that will neat. It's neat. That comes with Lion. Uh, the fire engine comes with the Pandora panel. Which is literally just a plastic slab that you can plug the bottles into for storage. Uh, so that's where we're at for, uh, for that. But that's at least something that's handy. Uh, like I said, Dragon comes with the Claws Dragon. A uh, little transformation thing. So that's a transformation device for, for Kamen Rider Claws. So 
again, that's something that most people would get anyway. So the stuff that comes with bottles are either important to where you'd probably pick them up anyway, or are like a really cool significant weapon. Uh, so it's not actually that bad. November is a pretty packed month. It has three bottle sets, including Double Ink Zaid, uh, as well as the Build a Phone, the Pandora Panel, the Claws Dragon, Claws Weapon, which doesn't come with anything, thankfully, um, as much as it does look kind of cool, um, and the the Pirate Form Weapon, which again doesn't come with a thing and uh, different sets and all that. So November is a very busy month uh, for Ryder. But anyway, so pretty neat. Um, the is it build change build build what is it? It's BCR and of course I forgot to look at what it actually meant because I'm not prepared whatsoever for anything. Uh, let's see. Build Rider News had its actual. Uh, name, do do do, Bolt Change Rider Series, but it's Bottle Change Rider Series. So, Bottle Change Rider Series is the name of the actual like gimmick figures uh, this time around, which admittedly look really cool. It reminds me of the Double Form Change uh, Series back with Double mixed with mix, blah, 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 mixed with the uh, O's Combo Change Series, uh, and the fact that you can kind of mix and match them, but Basically, it looks like they're two shells that kind of slide over each other and snap together. So while the double form change, you just kind of went and put them together, and the O's combo change, you stacked, obviously. Uh, these ones kind of look like they slide on top of each other. It worries me a little bit about whether there's going to be head articulation. Just because you have bit of the head on one side of the body and a bit of the head on the other side of the body, which leads me to believe it might just connect and you might have a swivel maybe, but you won't have any vertical movement, uh, which again worries me. That's one of the things that uh, kind of set me off from the uh, Ghost Change series because uh, I didn't like the fact that I was buying figures with no head articulation in 2017. But uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll definitely, definitely pick up uh, the first figure. And I think the second figure comes out at the same time. So I'll probably pick up both. Um, so we'll, we'll see uh, how those are. If they're really cool, even without head articulation, I might still get the figures. Just because I love the designs of this series. They're very wacky, but they're still very... Uh, kind of streamlined and really neat to just look at. They're all different from each other, yet you can still tell that it's build. Uh, so it, it's nothing drastic of a change, but they're all very unique in their own right. Uh, so the designs really is what caught me on this series in particular. So through December, we're looking at eight full bottle sets, including two of them being the Double and Exade ones, plus Rabbit Tank Sparkling. Uh, we have seven different uh, build change rider, build bolt bottle change rider. There we go, I got it. Uh, <laughs> series figures and 14 different vinyl releases. So all of the forms that I talked about plus uh, Night Rogue and Blood Starks uh, vinyl figures as well. So it's cool that they're getting vinyl figures. Um, and that doesn't count all of the driver stuff, the holder stuff, the phones, and the, the plates, and the, the dragons, and the weapons, <laughs> and all that. So it is a very jam-packed uh, quarter one, uh, for sure. But uh, that's something that we're pretty used to with Ryder um, as of late. But one thing that I do like about this is that it uh, it doesn't overload you. Um, there's a lot of stuff throughout these first months, but it doesn't like it doesn't bombard you all in one month or anything like that. September and November are heavier months, while October and currently December um, more quarter two stuff might actually fall in December. So I don't actually want to say that completely yet, but uh, October is a very light month compared to everything else. Uh, so it, it kind of trickles out a bit as opposed to just going, ah, here's toys, here's toys, here's toys, over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, so while it is packed, um, I, I think it's balanced um, a fair bit amount. And I would very much appreciate a writer show that 
stagnates a bit and and doesn't overload you with stuff in the first quarter because that's something that they've been doing a lot recently and it, it kind of uh leads into a situation where you have a heavily profitable quarter one and quarter two and then quarter three and quarter four they're like oh look how terrible toy sales are in quarter three and quarter four. Oh god you need to step up your game and then so bandai's not happy because their quarter three and quarter four reports are terrible tv asahi's not happy because they're not getting enough money from their show and it, it's just all kind of a mess so I, i'm hoping that this is a sign of a very product heavy series that doesn't overload you in any particular situation and kind of stagnates things a bit throughout or stagnates isn't the word i'm looking for um spreads things out rather uh in in a very easy to handle way because i mean just looking at this we do have a lot of bottle sets but they're only 900 yen a piece for two bottles so that's not even counting any sort of discounts you would get on places like amiyami hlj or hobby search so it's not like those are going to be terribly expensive the figures are 3500 a piece which does suck but uh, there is a lot of cool engineering in that goes into those figures and uh i do at least want to give them a shot uh, so that's actually kind of the most pricey bit of this actually whole collecting thing. Because uh, the stuff that you have to buy bottles for is only the uh, the driver itself, obviously. The holder, the drill crusher. Um, if the enemy ones count, you have the trans steam gun and the steam blade. And then you have the phone, the panel. And I guess if you want to count the claws dragon, even though that's kind of a transformation bit uh, in its own right. So... That's all you really have uh, to, to buy for those specific uh, little bottles. So it's not actually that bad despite how much like stuff there is in this first catalog alone. A lot of it is figures, a lot of it is Rider Hero series, and a good chunk of it are weapons that don't come with actual bottles. So if you're just going after the gimmicks, it's not as bad as it looks. I will definitely say that. And so. That leads me to this point and the answer to the question that is the title of this vlog. As of this moment in time, I think I will build. Um, it, I really want it out. I really did. Uh, but here's kind of where I stand uh, with everything and this kind of involves the channel as a whole. Ninja Steel's toy line is driving me nuts. I'm not interested in the Ninja Stars, and the robots are kind of neither here nor there. I don't know how I feel about them. Uh, and I haven't found the Master Mode figures at a retail location, and at this point, I honestly don't care a whole lot. Let's be honest, I just don't really care a whole lot. Uh, so Ninja Steel's kind of more or less dead to me on the channel. I might pick up some figures here or there, but uh, as a whole... Uh, I, I think uh, other than the action figures, I think that's going to go by the wayside. I do want to pick up the Gold Morpher because that is a U.S. exclusive toy. And I do want to add that to my Morpher collection. So I will be picking that up at the very least. Um, and maybe the sword. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, Ninja Steel, for the most part, is dead. I'm definitely not doing the discs anymore. Um, I might pick up any set that has SPD-related ones in it just for my personal collection. But... Uh, as a whole, the, the Ninja Disc Star thingies are, are done to me. I'm not bothering anything else after what I've done. Um, and the, the Megazords are a big question mark. I think I'm done with those uh, two, actually. So there's that. Uh, so Ninja Steel's kind of fallen by the wayside for me. Uh, Sentai, I've got quite a bit of backlog uh, to go through uh, from my hiatus, but uh, we'll get to that after we catch up with x -Aid. Um But... Uh, that's dying down. Uh, there's no more releases after Gigant ho -Oh and the DX uh, set and the movie related uh, release. There's one more mecha and one more little mecha uh, to go. And then I believe Q Ranger is done. Uh, so that is very weird to say out loud because I still feel like Q Ranger just started, but we're already 20 episodes deep, so guess it hasn't <laughs> but uh yeah q ranger is an interesting beast because most people in this franchise that are into this franchise know kind of the state of everything 
We've grown up in a world where Sentai and Rider were always a constant. Always. Nothing changed that. But that might not always end up being the case. Uh, Sentai's been on a bubble for a while now. Uh, Kyoryuja came in and kind of bumped everything back up to where it was actually profitable, and then Ninja and Jojo kind of brought that back down, and now Q Ranger was kind of... Uh, was always, to me, a last-ditch effort for them. Uh, they got a lot of input from Bandai America, uh, cause they want to try to bring in as much there as they can, and they overloaded with a bunch of Zords, because the mecha always sell well, and there's a bunch of gimmicks to collect, so you have to buy Candy Toy and Gashapon, and buy all this candy, and buy all these clothes, cause you gotta collect them all, and... Uh, I don't know how well that's doing for them. Uh, exactly, we don't actually have numbers outside of the first quarter, which did pretty well. Uh, don't get me wrong, the first quarter did really well. But uh, it, it, it doesn't always amount to a whole lot. And now with the uh, announcement of that schedule change for TV Asahi, uh, Ryder and Sentai are now... It used to be Sentai at 7.30, Ryder at 8.00. Now it is switching to, I think, Rider at 9 and Sentai at 9.30, and then that block is being taken over by a variety news program, which apparently do really well in Japan. So they're like, hey, let's put this program that'll do significantly better than what's on in this block. Uh, Precure's still on at 8.30 and is now leading into Toei's uh, programming block, but... Uh, yeah, so that is kind of striking, uh, to say the least, um... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't want to throw out accusations that Q Rangers the last Sentai because I honestly don't really want to face that sort of realization. Uh, living in a world where Sentai is gone is very strange. It's a strange idea to me. Uh, it definitely affect Power Rangers because we only have a couple more years before we would catch up. Uh, it would end in 2020, um, I believe, if Q-Ranger hits 2019 and 2020. Uh, Power Rangers would end in 2020 unless they wanted to go back and do Go Busters and Geoger and stuff like that. Um, which I could totally see Saban doing because there's Saban. But, um, Power Rangers fates up in the air too, I guess. If you want to get technical because we don't have movie sequel news and all that. And, oh no, the sky is falling and stuff. So, uh, the entire fate of our spandex-clad superheroes are totally in the air right now. Uh, Ryder, I feel, is always pretty safe no matter what happens. Ryder sells very well on a bad year. Ryder sells uh, 22, million, 22 billion yen, give or take. Uh, and on a great year, Sentai sells like 16 billion yen. Uh, <laughs> that was a, that's a fantastic year. That's like Cure Yuja. Uh, yeah, Cure Yuja. I was right. I was right. Uh, numbers. So. There's uh, a lot going on in the Tokusatsu world, and not everyone's aware of it uh, in, in the first place. But, like I said, I don't want to throw accusations around that uh, Q-Ranger is going to be the last Suntai, because I don't really want to face that reality. But, I have to think, in the, the aspect of this channel, I have to think about those what-ifs. What if I go, hey, I'll focus on Sentai, and then Q-Ranger is the last Sentai? Then what do I do? Uh, Power Rangers, I'm kind of tossing a little bit to the wayside because I'm just not interested in the toys that they're putting out right now, other than some legacy stuff and bits and pieces of Ninja Steel's toy line. Uh, and so I just have to think about this channel as a whole and what I want to do with it, and I don't want to stray from that Toku focus because that is what made this channel what it is, and I know that's what you guys come here for the most. So... I want to make sure that there's something here for you guys all the time. And right now, I think build is that ticket. Uh, so I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, I don't know what I'll be able to get at what point because, like I said, finances are rough right now. I'm going to try my best. Hopefully, by September, I will have a new secondary job that can hopefully supplement a lot of my bills and stuff so I can focus all the YouTube earnings on just buying builds toy line and stuff like that um, as well and so hopefully uh, my Pokemon channel works out well too so I have extra income from that as well so there's a, there's a lot of hope riding into this but as of right now to answer the questions stated at the title of this vlog I think I will 
build. I'm not going to go gung-ho into premium stuff or stuff that requires me to spend like $40 on a singular bottle. I, I did that with x -Aid. I don't want to do that again. Uh, so just focusing on the retail releases, like I said, I don't think there's going to be Candy Tori Gashbon exclusive bottles. There might be, but it looks fairly safe that there probably won't be. Um, but we shall see about that. But like I said, I'm not going balls deep in premium stuff or campaign stuff. There is a campaign for a build gashat uh, when you buy the driver, which should be pretty easy to get, as well as a uh, key bottle for the key dragon form, because that doesn't have a release anywhere else. Um, but I don't know the, the situation for that. I know it comes out in November, but I don't know what you have to buy. You might just buy the Claws Dragon and you get it for a, or a campaign bonus. I'm not too worried about any of that because HLJ is usually pretty good on the Rider campaigns. So I'm not too worried about stuff like that. I'm worried about stuff like, oh, look, it's a Gomberizing prize. Or, oh, look, you have to buy clothes. <sighs> X-Aid. X-Aid scarred me, man. It scarred me pretty good. <laughs> Proto Gashats. I still don't have Proto Boxo Bike. I need two of them, too. But at the very least, I've rambled for like a half hour on the state of Toku and what I'm doing. But So I am happy to say that I will be doing build. Um, like I said, I plan on getting the driver, the bottle sets, anything that comes with a bottle. So the big, important weapons. Uh, and probably the figure line. Um, like I said, I'm going to get the first two releases of the figure line. If I really like them, I'll keep going. If I something bothers me about them, then I will sell off those two figures and call it a quits on that. But uh, you can look forward to build reviews on the channel. No need to worry. The Toku Focus is staying. And again, if you're a Pokemon fan and haven't yet, please check out the description down below for my Pokemon Collector Shuki channel where I will be doing all sorts of cool Pokemon merchandise including the GEM series, statues, the artifact statues, the Mancole collection, uh, as well as Mega Constructs and anything else that they decide to throw our way. Uh, that looks really cool to me. So, uh, If you're a fan of Pokemon, do check out my second channel for that. So, that about does it for this vlog. Look forward to the Jeed review starting tomorrow morning and uh, continuing throughout the week. I will be gone uh, this week from Wednesday through Friday. So, if reviews seemingly stop, my internet connection is just terrible and I can't upload. But uh, I, I'm hoping to at least get through the three G reviews um, before then. So look forward to those hopefully on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And maybe jump back into Rider on Friday. We shall see what happens. But for now, that about does it for this vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for Build? Does Build look stupid to you? Are you happy I'm doing Build reviews? Could you care less? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.